up YouTube? Southern Experience here. Take four. Sorry. First time. It didn't make no sense. Got to being stupid. Second time. The dog got in the way. Third time. I was shaking. I don't know why. But I was like. Sorry. Dropped my tamper. Hang on. But it was like, I don't know what the deal was, but it was like, it was just, the camera was moving real bad. I don't have like a tripod or an iP uh, iPod or a, something to put my phone on, which I do, wish I had, but, uh, but I do have a laptop that just quit the other day. Of course, it's an Acer, what do you expect? But anyway... I, uh, you know, try this again. Try to make it without babbling too much. Sweet tea, Dale. Whenever you get around to watching this, if you do, which I think you will. Can you feel that back up, please? But anyway. Uh, move that just a little bit so I can sit forward. If I sit, my boys like to use my recliner as a launch pad, so the springs in the front are all stretched out. So if I sit in it, it's like I'm reclined already. So I have to lean forward for it to sit like it's supposed to. Uh, but thank you, baby. <sighs> Good stuff. Anyway, three twenty mafia. Come up with some gang sign. Three twenty. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. End of the day, being goofy. Having some Lane 1 Q and Rushmore Blend mix. And I'm learning something. I'm learning. And I've said this a couple times already because, like I said, fourth time making this video. Sometimes you guys talk about how somebody's made their version of a another popular uh, pipe tobacco. Somebody was talking about a somebody else's version of Balkan Sobrani, uh, which I haven't had a chance to watch uh, Cisco's review of that yet. I've seen it, but I, I I just haven't watched it yet. Oh my! Dog made a mess on the floor. Uh, got a new pup. He's a uh, He's a, a white lab, and he is destroying a, uh, we just got him two days ago. He was a stray. My wife had seen him for about a month, maybe two months. She takes the boys to the park. She's seen him, played with him every time, and he's gotten, of course, bigger every time. And so, finally, she couldn't walk away from him no more. I agreed. She brought him home. And right now, he is destroying a stuffed animal, and it's making him mess all over the floor. But he's happy. Worth something. And he's not chewing on my shoes. Anyway, and he ain't chewing nothing else up. But um, he's teething. But anyway, you guys talk about how somebody made a version of or a remake or, you know, and it's really similar. Or you, some of you guys even try to recreate. Uh, I think uh, Matches is trying to recreate some blend that he's had before you know he, he's ordering tobacco leaves before they're pre-cut you know they've already been cured 
um, and he's blending, which I, you guys who do that, more power to you. Heard about Cisco Snickers blend? That sounds good. And I, and I kind of, I'm like, Snickers? How do you get Snickers? Well, there's chocolate and caramels and nuts and nougat. So, I mean, they're trying to take different actual already pre-made tobaccos, mix them together, and get kind of a Snickers, which is awesome. And Aquila Smoke said he added some caramel delight, and it tasted a lot like it or, you know, whatever. But, anyway, I'm getting off subject. I am bad about chasing trails. Sorry. Anyway, you guys, um, or you'll say, you'll say somebody's remade this one or it's their version of this. Or you'll say this is, and it seems like Lane is the one that gets hit the most. Um, that, uh, you know, somebody repackaged Lane 1Q and, and is selling, or repackaged Lane BCA or whatever. I've seen the, you know, I know Lane has... Uh, piles of different ones but anyway um and so i've got this rushmore blend got the frog throat see it swell <laughs> it see you skinny folk can't do that you suck your cheeks in me, I get the bullfrog throat. <laughs> Ribbit. Anyway, um, so anyway, we got this Rushmore blend. And, I, I'm kind of slow. I don't figure things out real fast. And I have to study stuff for a while. I'm being honest, I don't catch on. I'm kind of, kind of gullible. Um, and, you know, I don't, I have a hard time keeping track and keeping up with people sometimes. Um, just several factors into that. Um, and a lot of it's got to do with fear. Um, and I know that. I just haven't figured out how to overcome it. Um, fear of not knowing what I need to know. Fear of, fear of not, you know. And, but anyway, you don't care. Um. Anyway, so I got this Rushmore blend, and we mixed them. I'm out of 1Q, and I had already made this mixture because my wife was like, well, what if we mix them? They, and I wasn't smoking right. You know, I wasn't taking my time. I wasn't my draw. Um, you know, um, had, you know, I watched some of you guys, and the way you smoke, you smoke a lot slower. And I was told... Um, By Mr. Russell to uh, change my method, and I've worked on it. I I, I really have. I worked on it and uh, tried to make it to. And I've I've learned to enjoy tobacco a lot more. And so in doing that, I've, I've figured something out. The Rushmore blend and Lane One Q are the same exact thing. Why do I think that? First off, it was told to me that oh, it was, it's made by a local tobacconist in the state. BS on that number one because the weather patterns in South Dakota do not allow for tobacco to grow. I'm from the south. I know what it takes to grow tobacco. Moisture and heat. We don't have a whole lot of moisture except for this year. Our heat season is very very short. So there's not enough time to get it up, get it done, and get it dried and processed the way that you're trying to put it out. And I've told some of you guys, and I'm sorry, that I just passed on what I was told. Oh, it's produced by, it's a local blend. It's, it's, and I, I'm going to have to recant that and say I don't necessarily think so. I think it is 1Q repackaged because we mixed them together and it didn't change the taste at all. Still tastes exactly like 1Q. And I'm thinking, shame on me because I didn't know at the time and I didn't know enough to think about it or to try to put it together oh that's good tea 
I'm telling you, Dale, you put some sugar in that, you're going to enjoy life a whole lot more. And I think me and Dale will forever go back and forth on that. That's Oki, cigar and pipe smoker. If you're not subscribed to him, go check him out. He's a busy man, uh, but he's a great guy. I love watching his videos. I love his personality. I love, man, if, if I could ever get that dude close enough, I had him real close. He was up in Nebraska. I was real close. But, uh, anyway. Um, so I'm sitting here, I mean, it, great stuff. Like my fifth bowl in this it, first two or three bowls were just straight 1Q now I'm doing the 1Q and Rushmore blend tastes exactly the same usually when you mix something it changes the flavor it didn't change the flavor it still tastes the same so that's why I think that if I'm wrong I'll admit it I'll recant call BS on me if you want to but I don't but anyway been trying to watch some of you guys videos trying to keep up and if you're still in at 11 minutes this is not going to necessarily be the shortest video. But I have decided, you know, that really don't matter. Everybody's trying to hurry up and make short videos. Hurry up and make short videos. You know, my wife's vaping. If you see this cloud come by me, but um, everybody's in such a hurry. That's why there's pipe smoking. Slow your butt down. I understand. You're working. You're trying to keep up with the community. I do the same thing. I, I've i learned to listen. I mean, yeah. Somebody's got something to show. You sure. Take a second. Look at it. Put it back down. Listen. Um, I drive a lot. I can't watch the videos, but I like to listen. So I have your headphones in. And I stash my phone. And I listen. Um... But, uh, anyway, trying to keep up with some of you guys' videos. I haven't been able to watch them all. Some of you guys are putting them out so fast I can't keep up. And I don't think every, everybody can watch everybody else's videos. Every one that they ever put out. Somebody's going to get missed. But, um, anyway... Little boy just rolled out of bed and hit the floor. Anyway, um, for you cigar smokers, I got a question. And I am just getting into this. I have literally smoked five. Okay, Swisher Sweet Blunt. I've smoked one of those. That's a regular cigar. But it's got a pre drilled hole, looks like. Okay. Also, I've had, you know, I like the Swisher Sweets, I like the Black and Miles, the little cigarettes. I don't consider those personally a good cigar. I've had five cigars. I've had an acid Blonde Bellicoso, Blondie Bellicoso. I love that one. Sweet, mild, smooth, creamy, and Torpedo. I love the Torpedo. Anyway, had one of those, had a acid uh, Cuba Cuba. That one was okay. And an acid 1400cc. I liked that one a lot. It was like a mix between the Bellicosa and the Cuba Cuba. I really liked that one. Two questions. So far. Just added one. Why do they put the little tobacco at the end of the cigar? Is that for flavor preservation? Is that for moisture preservation? Is it to keep it packed? Why do they do that? I see it in, in, in cases like that. I see them in tubes like that. Why do they do that? Secondly, the other ones I've had are a brick house sent to me by JS Pipes, which, side note here, rabbit trail, where the heck are you, Jay? We miss you, buddy. You need to get back out there and do some videos. I know you ain't been home very long, but dang, dude. Anyway. Come back. Um, he's got a contest to finish anyway. And I hope he does. I hope he gets back to us. I'm sure he's busy. 
Another one's back with Briar. What happened to you, dude? Not hating. Just miss them. Always look forward to those guys. Came in kind of the same time I did. Sent Backwood Briar. I got an investment in Backwood Briar. Uh, it's just a passed on investment, but still. Um, anyway, why do they put that little thing of tobacco at the end of a. Uh, uh, and that's all it is. Just like a wad of tobacco at the end of a cigar. Then, I got a third question now. Um, what's up with some cigars smelling like a rat's nest? Now, and I'll, and I'll tell you what it is. The I just had a, uh, I had those three acids. I've also had a brick house, which was all right. Jay sent me that one. It. I got the first third, and the first third was good. It was smooth. It had a good flavor to it. It wasn't sweet. I'm a, I kind of like sweet stuff, but uh, it, it didn't have to be. It had a good flavor, uh, and it, it kind of smelled like a rat's nest. You know, before you light it, you know, and sniffed it, uh, but it, but I lit it, and and that kind of went away, and it got a good flavor, kind of a, I guess what you call an earthy flavor, you know, grassy type flavor. Um, and then when the second, third got going, it changed. Started stinking. It, I mean, like that foul cigar smell. And maybe it's just I'm not used to them yet. I don't know. Um, but it, it turned my wife off. She didn't like it. It got too strong for her. It started hitting me real bad in the throat and... I was trying to smoke, I was smoking it real slow, uh, on purpose, just because I want to get the full flavor, but it, it changed on me, and I don't know what that was all about, but, uh, why do some cigars smell like rat's nests? And then, also, I seen Oki, and I asked him this question, I don't know, I, and I'm kind of waiting for him to get back to me, but I'll ask you guys too, he had a cedar thing. I, can't, I couldn't catch what he called it, but it was like a sliver of cedar that had been scrolled out, and he lit it to light his cigar. What does that do to the flavor? What what benefits do you get from that? What's the purpose? So you guys comment that you, you guys that are in cigars heavy, WizD, maybe if you happen to watch my video, uh, maybe you could answer that. Um, or any of you other guys, uh, smoke, uh, Grandpa Bones, if you happen to watch my video, uh, what's that for? I, you know, Bogey, uh, you're the main guys I know that smoke cigars. Um, you know, what's what's what does that do? I mean, does it does it give it a better flavor? Does it help? Uh, you know, like I know, like uh, one of my work zippos because I don't like to lose my last one so I buy these ten dollar ones from Walmart like I know these if you don't do what they recommend and like wait about that long before you start lighting something you get the the, the fluid flavor uh, does the the cedar thing does it give a you know better than butane or, or whatever what does it do let me know um, just curious uh, I, I uh, you know, I like cigars. They're expensive. I've always, I grew up around guys who smoke cigars, and so that's always, once again, kind of like the pipe smoking. It's one of them memories from your childhood that kind of haunts you that you want to go with. Another one I found I want to try is them nubs. They're just cool looking, but there's uh, the the, uh, the the Connecticut, and then maybe the Cameroon, but the Connecticut for sure. It's got like a sweet center. They said uh, yeah, sweet fillers and stuff. You know, I like kind of sweet tasting stuff, but I you know. Um, so anyway, uh, you guys, you know, if you can, if you're willing, answer the questions. Help me out. Help me learn more about this 
hobby and about this uh, aspect of relaxation and enjoyment of life and fulfillment of life because I think and I've come to believe that if you are a pipe or cigar smoker that you have a richer life because you learn how to slow down and you learn how to relax and you can find uh, you got a niche that you can enjoy and you get the beauty of it i.e. this or any other pipes that you like the, the the indie pipes which I still got some of them on my list to get Just trying to save for one um, you know, I really want to get a Rick Black, but I guess he's not taking orders right now. So I'm just waiting for him to make one that I want. I'm, I, I would love to find me a Indy pipe that's a Dublin with a quarter bend, like this. But you know, you hold it, the Dublin sits up, but then it, you know, and this is all, you know what I'm saying. Um, about you know. I'd love to find me an indie pipe that's a Dublin like that. That's that's what I'm looking for. Um, and I know Rick makes them because I've seen them. I think I've seen two or three of them he's made. And at the time, couldn't afford them. But um, I think Rick Black is the first one I'm going to go for. Uh, but this video is 20, going on 22 minutes long. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, I appreciate it. Uh... And, uh, you know, tell your friends about me, I guess. I've been real busy. Haven't made a lot of videos, but I'm going to, you know, I get calm before the storm. Hay and season's kind of leveled out. Everybody's got their fuel. Harvest is coming up soon. And I'll really be busy again, and I'll probably disappear, become a lurker again for a little bit. For, you know, about a month or so. Maybe make a video here and there, kind of like I have now. But, um anyway so thanks you guys if you if you hung out this long i really appreciate it i really do thank you guys and uh ladies if there's any ladies watching appreciate it uh thanks for hanging out thanks for taking some of your time and i uh, appreciate your time i really do and uh if you need anything you see anything that i've smoked or whatever you you're more than welcome to it let me know pm me if you if you have a really long answer and you don't want to type it all in the comment box, uh, Google Plus message me because I guess that's what uh, YouTube is moving to anyway. Um, they kind of want you to have a Google Plus account tied together, which I already do, and so I get all my messages through Google Plus right now. Um, and if it's like a PM to my inbox, I have Google Mail and it goes to that, and I get notified that way. But uh, if if you have a long answer. Hey, I'll read it. Trust me, I'll, I'll take time and I'll read it and uh, make sure that I, I try to understand it. And I'll ask you questions and we'll converse back and forth. And you know, because I really want to know all this stuff. I I hate being in the dark on any subject that I'm interested in. It it's not good for me. And uh, it 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 hits me up here when I can't figure something out. And so um, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being patient. I appreciate it. You guys take care, and uh, we'll see you next round. Bye.